guys, how are we all doing? Morning, afternoon, ain't got a clue what time of day it is. Uh, I just thought I'd do a quick uh, video. This is, I've had so many uh, questions. Don't give me a, bit. Uh, a bit of sunshine today, it's uh, coming into evening now. Uh, I've had so many questions on my uh, Chinese diesel heater setup. Uh, now, if you look at my playlist, I've got the refitting of this. I think it was about, oh, probably about 18 months ago now. It's got to be knocking on over a year. Anyway, if you want to know how to fit one, uh, the way I've fitted anyway, I mean, it's worked perfectly. It's not missed a beat, I can tell you, and it's the best thing that I've ever bought. I think it cost me about 72 quid on eBay, the Chinese diesel. I think it's a five kilowatt one, the uh, square box one, not the standard, not the standard free um, uh, stand up one. Uh, it's a little box one, I think it's a five kilowatt. And. Um, Oh, because it hasn't missed a beat, it really hasn't. Anyway, I've got a couple of videos of me fitting it in my playlist going back 18 months, and I say it's not missed a single beat since. Uh, okay, I've had a few uh, E8 Ericos, uh, which means uh, do no diesel or low diesel or air in the fuel line or not enough volts getting to kick it off. Uh, but that's usually when my uh, I run out of diesel or whatever in there. In those videos, I'll put a link up. Uh, down below those two videos if you want to have a look if you're thinking about a giant who's doing a Lisa. If you are, I can highly recommend get one guys. I mean there's lots of euphoria and there's lots of drama on the Chinese eBay diesel Facebook sites and lots of YouTube channels, you know, knocking Chinese diesel is they're too noisy, they keep break. Uh, mine hasn't missed a beast. I mean, you've got to fit them properly. Uh, if you're unsure how to fit them, guys, I mean, it's quite easy to do. It's a bit of a, it took me about a day to fit it, I think. Uh, it's quite easy to do, but uh, if, you, if you're unsafe at all, get advice and get someone to fit it that knows what they're doing. Uh, so you've got to be careful because you you, you know, you're dealing with exhaust gases, you don't want those coming in the van, you're dealing with diesel as well, a diesel line. So if you're unsure, get a professional to do it or... Uh, uh, get someone in that you know uh, knows what they're doing and helps you do it uh, but it's pretty easy and uh, it's quite a standard uh, setup anyway uh, I get uh, so there's lots of people that knock them the noise the clicking noise the clicking noise of the pump click 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 sometimes you watch a lot of video especially in van builds um, people build the vans a lot of them a lot of people haven't even installed in RVs now in caravans but especially in Van Vils, you you see the YouTubers, you hear always that clicking noise in the background, click, 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 and it's bloody annoying, I can tell you. Uh, it's not, it's, uh, I had it on mine when I first started, but I made an adjustment to the actual diesel pump. It's a diesel pump doing that clicking noise. It's a solenoid stepping in and out, pumping the fuel through the line that's making the noise. I mean, you're always gonna get a buzz from the um, axle heater with a fan. Like any heater, you're gonna get a fan noise. But anyway, mine was annoyed. I thought I've got to do something about this. And I did an adjustment on the actual uh, situ of the actual diesel pump itself. Now, there's lots of videos out there about noise issues with diesel heaters. And uh, lots of people are doing all sorts of uh, uh, inventive things, really, to try and get rid of that bloody annoying, annoying click, click, click noise all the bloody time. People are putting them in boxes, the people are surrounding them with foam, people are surrounding them with tape or padding or insulation. Uh, now, I thought about that, but I didn't want to really encase that motor, that diesel pump, because whether it gets, especially in the summertime or even in the winter when it gets cold, uh, in the summertime when it gets hot, I don't want to overheat it, I want easy access to it just in case something goes wrong. So I didn't want to put any wrapping or a box, a lot of them have got insulated little like egg boxes, they enclose the, the, the uh, motor in, the pump. He calls it the motor, it's a pump Stephen, because that's where the noise is coming from, the pump. A lot of people enclose them in and there's all sorts of fabrications going on to get uh, rid of the, the noise. But my solution, and it works an absolute dream, guys. I'll pull up my uh, bench. This is all on my fitting videos anyway, so it's, uh, I'm just reiterating really because I'm getting so many questions about people watching my videos and staying, or even people that come in the van. I've had so many people, lovely van folks, and people I've met on the road over my journey on Sky, Anglesey, um, East Coast, Wales. So many people, I've had hundreds of people come in my van, and they've all said, uh, how warm it is in the van and uh, have you got your heating on because they can't hear it and they're astound they're really astound and believe it or not the diesel heater and the diesel pump is 
just that far under my bottom under this seat I've got the diesel heater here and the pump here a lot of people put the pumps outside and um, and outside the van and the actual um, filter outside the van I wouldn't recommend that so though a lot of people do especially if you get cold really cold wind or really hot or some comes up and cracks it or I didn't want my own outside I wanted everything inside the van I've got my heater inside there some people have the heater outside the van as well I've got my heater inside the van where it's it's well ventilated well all of my videos on my playlist guys where I fitted them the heaters inside the van the actual fuel pumps inside the van the fuel filters inside the van and the actual fuel tankers inside the van so it's all it's, there's nothing outside the only thing that's outside is the exhaust and the fresh air intake that is it so I didn't want to go outside because a lot of people to get rid of the noise they put the pump outside but it could cause issues. I'm not saying it would do. It could cause issues when you get freezing cold temperatures or something comes up and hits it uh, while you're driving along the road. Plus you've got fuel lines going everywhere as well under the van, which I didn't want that. Uh, so all mine is installed inside the van. And um, so the reason I'm doing this video is because so many people have said, how do you keep it so quiet? Anyway, we'll go in, I'll pull up my covers, we'll have a look at exactly, it's very, very simple guys, exactly how this, I've done this over 18 months ago. There may have been videos since that have done the same, I don't know, but this was over 18 months ago. I did this little, little hack to stop the noise to make your diesel heater whisper quiet. Let's go down, let's have a look under my bum. All right, so you can see my uh, monitor is on the wall there, guys. Lovely jubbly. Uh, I've pulled up these seats here. Just going to pull these seats out now. And we'll go underneath. Uh, all my uh, flowers are falling off. Bear with me. Just throw the cushions up there for now. Uh, underneath my uh, settee. Just pull this one up. Whoa. Hopefully that will rest there. Uh, there is my uh, water tank. And underneath this uh, sofa seat here. That's my diesel heat there. I've just got the one vent because I only want the one vent into the living room area. Uh, the actual bathroom area there, guys, is uh, warm enough for me. Uh, lovely jubbly. Right, uh, that's in situ there. Uh, I have got uh, all shrouding. It is all on my fitting video. There's shrouding everywhere, guys. Insulation, uh, noise reduction foam everywhere as well, just to cut the noise down of the uh, actual diesel heater as well itself. And you can see it's just vented out into my living room there. If I can tip round. Uh, down there, there's loads of holes uh, to get this vented. So there's a nice cool air coming in. So uh, it's well ventilated, so it's lovely there. And it's easy access as well if you need to clean it out because you need to decoke them then again. Uh, right, and that's the situ of my diesel. Uh, you can see the fuel line there. It's coming out from the uh, motor into the next chamber uh, inside there, guys. Lovely jubbly, come on camera, inside there. So just pop that down. A chamber where my uh, water tank is and my pump for my uh, water system. Uh, as you can see there, we've got the fuel line uh, coming from the diesel heater here. It's going to the uh, diesel pump, which is there. That's wired in as well. There's an inline fuse. I always put inline fuses on everything. And it's going down there to the actual uh, filter there and the line that's going out through the back there out the back is going to the tank in my locker outside the 10 litre tank uh, and as you can see uh, I've got a bit of foam insulation everywhere guys you can see this stuff here bit of noise absorption and uh, noise insulation as well uh, some on the side there as well uh, this is in the water tank locker which is uh, just a few inches below my bottom when I'm sitting down every night doing my filming and uh, as you can see the fuel line comes down there down there and that goes to the filter over there lovely jubbly filter has to be pretty square on uh, the actual fuel uh, pump has to be facing up slightly in the direction so it's on a little bit of a slant there not too much of a slant there's a little bit of a slant there and usually you get a rubber housing with these uh, pumps uh, and you actually screw it to the side of the van or to the frame of the van or to the chassis of the van or whatever but I don't bother with that at all because I found that's where all the vibration and all the noise was coming from. That rubber housing that goes around the fuel um, 
comp and clamps to the side of your van. So I've done away with that. And all I've done, I've put, uh, there's a tie there, a cable tie there. There's a cable tie over there by the pump as well. And I've done it in such a way that the fuel filter's level coming from my tank, which is just a few inches away in the next cupboard there, guys. Uh, so it's, a, it's only a short fuel line. Shorter the fuel line, the better. It's coming from the filter there, so you can check on the filter all the time. You can check the airflow and everything's working fine. Lovely, all nice and accessible instead of outside, wrapped up or whatever. And it comes to the fuel pump there. As I say, it's on cable, cable tie there, cable tie there. So it's suspended in the air. This is floating in the air, guys. So if I just move the tank, see, the uh, pump. It's just floating in the air. It's not touching the frame of my van whatsoever. And that has cut down my noise reduction on the fuel pump clickety clickety click 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 90% and it works guys it works I guarantee if you want to try it and uh, plus you've got easy access as well there's no wrapping around or insulation or a box or it's not surrounded it's not outside it's nice and safe and happy there and you've got easy access should you need to get at it um, with the diesel leads because they're so cheap the parts on these guys I've got a spare pump, I've got a spare filter, I've got a spare control board for the uh, diesel heater itself, I've got a spare control board, I've got a spare uh, panel as well, control panel, we've got to get one of those spare as well guys up there, I've got a spare control panel and circuit board, they're so cheap the parts are, so if anything should go wrong, uh, it's easy to get in there and swap them out without missing about getting outside in the cold, uh, plus if you do get a problem when you everything's outside usually the problems in the middle of the night first thing in the morning or it's pissing down the rain you don't want to go outside having a look at these checking everything's all right guys but uh, a lot of vans do put them outside but uh, hey ho uh, whatever turns you on but uh, this is my solution to suppress noise by 90 percent on that bloody clicky click 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 of a fuel pump on a chinese diesel heater Right, let's get back up and put all my uh, cushions back down and we'll turn it on and I'll show you how quiet it is. You've seen in my videos how quiet it is. Loads of people comment how quiet it is, guys. Right, uh, let's go back up. Right, I've turned the heater on. Uh, I've just put it on level one at the moment. Uh, now with Chinese uh, diesel heaters, uh, one of the most prominent error codes is E8 uh, due to fuel or voltage. Uh, usually it's said before if you've run out of fuel you'll have a block in the line and you need to uh, pump some more fuel back through you need to prime it to turn it on and off a few times or use your buttons depending on what device you've got uh, and also when it ramps up it needs the highest point of voltage input to drive that motor for that initial kickoff uh, once it's kicked off after about five minutes it settles down to a low voltage and it will cope uh, with just a normal voltage uh, so what i do with mine if my voltages are low especially when there's no solar on sky for months and months and months and months on air use the solar systems are redundant uh, i'll just turn the engine on for uh, uh, two minutes start the heater then turn the engine off after two minutes once it's had that initial surge of voltage to the uh, uh, chinese do so here's it it's fine it'll tick off you can turn the engine off you don't have to worry about the uh, voltage it's just a trickle voltage coming through to keep it running through now the initial ramp up is finished I can hear now it's starting to slow down now it's going to its uh, steady idle mode now just pumping out that lovely hot air um, yeah and that is nice and toasty down there now already lovely jubbly uh, so that's it uh, so that's the prominent set of codes you get so um, you know when when the sun's out in the summer you've got no problem you can run it off your solar system even on the kickoff but in the winter you may have to find your leisure batteries to your uh, engine uh, startup or whatever but uh, there's always ways around it but that's it anyway that's ticking away lovely now all you can hear can you hear that buzz of the heater fan that's just a heater fan rocking and rolling now I'm going to shut my mouth for a few minutes and just let you listen and don't forget my pump is that far from my left hand leg just it's that far from my left hand leg just a few inches just under my seat and can you hear the click 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 you listening I'm not turning the volume down guys you cannot hear that pump and it's right under my bottom as well it's really it's only a few inches away from uh, the microphone it's a few inches away from me and I can't hear the click of clicking of that motor but if that was clamped to the side of the frame or to the chassis or whatever, 
you do the clicking because I had that when I first installed it. So I've done away with that and I've suspended it in midair like it is. Just as a slight angle with the fuel line going that way. Slight angle like that, guys, with the fuel line going that way. And uh, suspending in air with a couple of table clips so it's just floating in the air. It's not vibrating against anything. And it works an absolute bloody dream. Anyway, that's my little hack on uh, how to get rid of your click, click, click on bloody diesel heat, Chinese diesel heaters. I hope you find that useful, guys. Uh, any comments down below. Let's say I did this over 18 months ago, so uh, one or two may be doing it now and seeing my video. Because I did show in my original video my uh, hack as well. But I thought, because I've had so many questions about this, especially people coming in the van saying it's toasty warm and I can't hear your heater. All you can hear is the fan running. You hear the fan running? That's a fan, just a fan motor. That's all you can hear. No clickety clicky. And I can actually hear the clock ticking. That's all I can hear, and the fan. There you go, guys. All right, till next time, thank you. Uh, my next uh, Sky video will be up in a couple of days' time. Lovely jubbly. Have a good evening, guys. Don't forget, comments below. Give us a share, give us a like. And try and press the subscribe if there's so many people watching my videos they're not subscribers press the subscribe hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of all my uh there's only a few adventures left and now on the lovely island of sky what a stunning island so lights guys Ta -da.